Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we will be rehousing the Chromatopelmocyne eucubescens. Um, the enclosure that I put it in is holding a more humidity than I would like it to uh, have in there for him. So instead of taking the solder iron and the uh, soldering iron and putting more holes in it, which I wouldn't be able to do without him being taken out anyway and separated. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to go ahead and put him in this 12 by 12 by 12 exoterra. It will make it to where he probably will not need another enclosure for a while. I'm going to load it down with a bunch of cork bark and everything. Um, I got some new stuff, so I also got some new plants. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set up his new home. I'm going to do something a little different this time. I wanted this to be a quick video. Uh, so this is going to be a time lapse video. Um, so you'll see me zipping around in there doing all my stuff. And this time, no talking. So <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and get started on that. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, still a little small. Well, not super small for this enclosure, I don't think. It's, it'll have a couple molts in it. But uh, keep it all generalized to that area. It's got plenty of anchor points. Got a blue dish because it's a boy. And uh, this cork bark back here is... Uh, leaning up i just got some fresh cork bark today so that's fun so it's got a nice big cave in there if it wants to go hide out or do whatever it wants to do so um i'm gonna set you guys up on a different camera at a different angle or not a different camera but at a different angle and uh we'll go ahead and rehouse this boy so hopefully this goes fairly smooth. We kind of got a glare coming off that dish there, but that is okay. Let me fill up that water dish real quick before I do this. If I can find my, there it is. go he'll probably web over that let's see so yeah he's in here again <laughs> oh I meant to put holes in this before I started and uh, by the time I realized it I was already getting him into the cup so it still shouldn't be too hard he should want right out and we're gonna aim straight for all the good stuff there Set that down for half a second. Get my stick. And then hopefully this goes pretty simple. Come on, boy. Come on. You'll enjoy this enclosure so much more. I'm pretty sure of it. So there he goes. And let's see if we can get a close up of that. He always looks so awesome. So yeah, he should enjoy that a lot. You can see the size of the cork bark compared to the size of him. And he is going straight through all that darkness. And straight behind that cork bark. And I do not blame him. <laughs> I feel like he was probably really stuffy in the, in the enclosure we just took, I just took him out of. And these guys are more of a dry species. So they don't need all that stuffiness in there. So, uh, yeah, we found a use for the spare 
Exoterra. Like I said, I think it looks good. So, uh, yeah. And uh, tomorrow we will be doing uh, updates on the rehouses from the other week. Uh, so we will, it is my normal feeding day, but we will go through all the ones that I rehoused and posted and we will check on them and see how they're doing. Um, and we'll do some feeds for them as well. So everybody, thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow night.